You know, what worked for me was the daily practice of meditation, starting with just 60 seconds a day. Um, and the great thing about meditation, especially the way I described it, it's not, I didn't come up with it. I just learned it, um, is that when you focus on your breath and your deep breathing and really feel the energy in your belly, you, what you're doing is you're working with your energetic body. Um, and that can lead to a lot of profound changes in your thoughts, your emotional state, and start to open yourself up to your spiritual path. Um, so I think whenever someone wants to get started, it's great to have an energetic practice like that. It's great to have a physical practice, um, like any, any kind of exercise that resonates with you. Um, because our energy, we have a physical body, we have an energetic body, and we have a spiritual body, all in our eternal souls encased in all of those. And they're all interrelated. So you can, um, improve your health physically and have a profound spiritual effect as a result because it's all interrelated just as someone can go on a spiritual path and they'll become physically healthier and look younger um you can look at photos of me and my wife back before we were married and we we just look older when we were younger it's hilarious um but anyway so you, you can have an energetic practice simple as as sitting and, and breathing deeply and really feeling that energy in your belly you can have a spirit uh a practice that helps nourish your spiritual body. Okay, well, what is that? Prayer, because that's you speaking directly with the divine. Um, and also after praying, just sitting quietly and doing absolutely nothing, which um, allows you to be open to hear back. Um, so you have the physical, you have the energetic, and you have the spiritual. Uh, and there's one thing I, I, I want to mention is that I remember when I was in the depths of debt and I was spiraling toward my bankruptcy. And before I knew any of the spiritual stuff, before I was even doing my daily meditation, I remember I got down on my knees and started praying. And I prayed to God for help in my financial situation. Um, and I didn't know what I was doing. I was just trying to be as sincere as I could. And I was terrified. And what happened? I still went bankrupt. I totally financially wiped out. And I, I, I got so bitter and I just I was like, well, what the heck? What, what happened? Much later, uh, a mentor of mine said, look, it's prayer is not about like demanding something and, and, and hoping you'll get it when you're in a crisis. Hey, you might, but you might not. The way I like to look at it now is prayer is, is like talking with a very stern, loving, strict parent. Now, and, and that would be the divine. Maybe you can approach your stern, strict, loving parent with an ask, and maybe you'll get it. But more likely, if you approach with asking for help with what you're up to and what you're doing and help getting more insight, you know, I have personally gotten a much higher success rate with that. So that, 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 but anyway, to wrap that up, yeah, that's, that is what I would advise someone who's getting started. You pick out your physical daily discipline for your body and your health. You pick out your daily energetic practice and you pick out your daily spiritual practice. And it's not about putting in 10 zillion hours a day. It is about doing those three every single day until it is so ingrained in you that you become unstoppable.